Well, good morning. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every day to help you in growing your real estate business. And we've got a great topic today. We're going to be talking about one of the toughest things that a real estate agent has to deal with. Frankly, about anybody in sales, uh, you're going to have a big, big problem. And uh, the better you do with handling this issue, the more money you're going to make. Whereas if you do a bad job of it, it's probably going to not only stifle you, but completely stop you from becoming successful. And that big problem that we have is how you handle other people's opinions. There's going to be an awful lot of opinions, especially because you are a real estate agent. Uh, you're going to have people that are not your customers. I want to be clear about this. These are not your customers or clients, and they're going to be opinionated about what you do, how you get paid, how ethical or unethical you are, all the things you do right and do wrong, uh, all of the things that we hear all the time. And the bigger you are in the public eye, the more that's going to be the case. So let me assure you, if you do Facebook videos, you're going to get more hate. If you do YouTube videos, you'll get more hate. If you send out postcards, you'll get more hate. If you do more open houses, you're going to get more hate. And the problem is you have to differentiate between who's your customer and who's your not. There's a who is not. Uh, there's an awful lot of people that will tell you all the reasons that Rolls Royce is unethical and unacceptable and bad for America. And it's the people that can't afford a Rolls Royce. It's the people that want to hate on things they don't have, can't have, don't want to have, or whatever the case is, right? So uh, they'll look for things to dig that aren't even necessarily true, uh, or they'll find menial things that don't really matter as much. As an example, you know, rather than talking about someone as a human, you could talk to about him as an orange man, and it would make you feel better about your position because you just degraded what that person or that thing was. We get that a lot. I mean, I can tell you in uh, real estate, I see all the time, you know, because I run tons of ads to real estate agents, and uh, I have non-realtors that comment, all of you agents are unethical. You're all grossly overpaid. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's your fault that all these prices are so high. That wouldn't happen if real estate agents wouldn't keep uh, out of greed. They keep overpricing these homes like Look, let's be clear about this. If I were a real estate agent that was greedy, I would try to underprice the home so I can get paid faster and I can guarantee a closing. The last thing I would do is overprice it by a hundred grand. What the hell does that have to do with greed? Right. But the general public is uneducated. They don't understand uh, on our business, they don't understand how our business works. But I can tell you that every single day, I probably average five to seven homeowners or home buyers that make a random comment on my stuff that say, all of you real estate agents are unethical. Uh, why wouldn't you just sell your home for sale by owner? An attorney can fill out the contract. Well, hell, you can fill out the contract. It's literally fill in the blank. Do you really think that's what a realtor does? I think maybe the reason you think a realtor is unethical and the reason you think a realtor is overpaid is because you believe that what they do is fill in the blanks. You don't even need an attorney for that. It's literally on the bar association purchase contract. Fill in the blank. You can do that on your own. So it's a matter of ignorance that they don't understand what it is that you do. But I can tell you now, the more marketing you do, the more haters you're going to have. If you're not having that right now, if you don't experience this, it's because you're not doing enough. But I can assure you, the more that you do, the more you're going to have idiots. Keep in mind, these are customers that will never be customers of yours. These are buyers, sellers, or renters that are never, ever going to work with you anyway. So you have zero interest in what their opinion is because you know that you're helping lots of people. Uh, we've had some issues where, uh, you know, of course, I'm very opinionated. I've got my personality, which... If you're following me, you love it. You love that I'm a no BS approach. Uh, I'll call you out on your bullshit. If it's getting in the way of you making money, uh, I'll make sure that I keep you focused and get you closing, uh, closing more business. You know, all of the things that, you know, a, a good, uh, from the physical fitness perspective, a good personal coach, a good uh, fitness coach is not going to hear that you don't feel good today or that it's raining outside and you don't want to run and whatever. They're going to push you to be the very best person you can be. Now, 
There's going to be a lot of people that say that guy's unrealistic. He doesn't understand. He's he's way too focused on the he's just an asshole. That stuff is going to happen. But here's my recommendation for you as your coach. Do the very best job you can for your clients. And sometimes that means getting them out of their own way, being that authority figure, being a true advisor rather than an order taker. And if you do that, your clients, the people that actually pay you and have hired you, are going to love what you do. They're going to refer you out to others. They're going to say you are the absolute best representation they've ever had. I don't want an attorney that's a pushover. I want an attorney that's going to fight for me. That's going to do a good job for me. Well, the same is true when it comes to real estate. They want someone that's really good at what they do and is, a, is that no BS approach. So it's crucial that you make sure you don't have a mental mindset of somebody says something online or even tells you something face to face. You hand a business card to someone and someone chimes in or something. You ha It has zero bearing on you. I get that all the time because I am a uh, much more high D personality and no BS than any human that you know, online, offline, in real estate or anything else. I'll always have people that have nothing to do with us that have hate. So I'll give you an example. You guys know how awesome it is that we have the menu of services. We have all of the, our different tiers of levels where we can go above and beyond for people, right? And we can negotiate commission that way by not negotiating. We can give the seller an option. It's totally up to them, whatever feels good for them. I want them to do that so they don't have a high pressure sales pitch and all of that. Every single day, I'll have non-member realtors comment, this is absolutely stupid. From an ethics perspective, you should provide the very best you can to every single client that you have. Well, here's the difference, Mr. Non-member. The best that we have is a whole hell of a lot better than the best that you have. You see, you're not willing to spend $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 dollars in marketing on any of your listings, and you can't demonstrate that you ever have in your entire career. So when you offer mediocrity, sure, you can offer the best that you have at 5% or the best that you have at 6%, but you can't offer the best that we have we're actually a superior agent. So it makes sense to them mentally that you should offer the very best you have to every single client. But when you say peel off that $4,000 in target marketing, go out and buy the mailing list, hire the print company, get the labor to do all of this stuff, all of a sudden, oh no, that's probably not gonna work. I just, I put it on the MLS and I just wait. Well, then you've been replaced by that $99 realtor. You've been replaced by the throw it on the MLS for 1%. So again, you can't pay attention to what ignorance, which just means doesn't know the facts, people that don't understand the facts, you can't pay attention to what their opinion is. Uh, for me, the way I look at it, I have thousands of testimonials from agents all over the place. If you look on, uh, if you go to Facebook, if you go to YouTube, if you uh, look, obviously, on our website everywhere, thousands of verified documented users, like click on their account, and they are doing very well. Their clients love them. They're getting more referrals than they ever have. They've positioned themselves the right way. That's what's important to me. So if you're getting successful sellers that love what you do, they're giving you hugs at closing, they're referring you out to other people, they write a great review about you, if you're getting sellers and buyers that love what you do, don't change who you are because user 58243 was pissed off about something. That's not going to help you at all. But you also don't want to stop marketing. If you send out the James letter to a thousand people, you're going to have a hater call you. It's going to happen. But James deserves for you to do a good job for him. So we don't care about you know, what someone else says. If you're doing more online, if you're doing Facebook ads and that type of thing, you're going to have somebody give you a hate comment. And does it really matter what Ask Clown 69 said about his opinion of you? Does that really matter at all? No. What matters is that you're doing a great job for your clients. They love what you do and you're representing them in a legal, moral, and ethical way. But again, that ignorance side can get in the way for people that don't know. Uh, there's no question. Realtors are not looked upon as the greatest thing in the world. I have 
thousands of examples of that. They're not talking about me. They're talking about realtors, you know, that you're all overpaid. You all make way too much money. It's like, where the hell is those agents at? <laughs> we all make too much money, really? That's awesome. You know, how can you justify getting 3%? I wish we got 3%. Do you know how splits and fees and assistance and all of that stuff works? But it's just an ignorance factor. So uh, moral of the story today, one of the most difficult things you'll deal with is uh, consumer hate. And I hate to call it consumer because they really aren't consuming anything. A lot of them don't even own a home. We'll never own a home. Uh, a lot of them just, you know, they're, they want to be an online troll. And how you handle that is going to determine how successful you become. So if I send out a thousand James letters and I get a hater, my goal is to try and get five haters by next week. Because if I can get five haters by next week, I've helped five more James. I've helped my client to get what they're looking for. And I've helped that seller that it, they do end up buying. I've helped them to sell their home. It's just the inconsequential guy that never planned to sell anything. He's probably living in his parents' basement had a smart ass comment for you, okay? So only focus on the people that are important to you that you're able to help, that you're able to assist them with your professional advice. Their opinion matters, nobody else's does, okay? So start utilizing that to your benefit. Uh, make sure you don't worry about the haters that are out there because you're never gonna have haters if they're working with you. You do a great job for them. Hopefully that's helpful for you. I'm Greg Luther, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, by the way, if you're not following this page, Follow the page here, turn on notifications, ring the bell here, uh, and check out the video description below so we can help you in growing your real estate business. But you better not have thin skin. You better not be a coward. You better not be uh, easily offended because we're here to make you successful and to help you with a whole bunch of clients. So be warned in advance. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.